I'm at edublogs.org and I'm going to set up a blog for myself the easy way by clicking on the free no email necessary account. I'm putting in just the username that I want to use and then a password. You'll see what that is in a moment when it confirms it. I'll agree to the terms of service. I don't need an email address. It doesn't care about that. Um, you want to put in an email address if you think you might lose your password because then it sends it to you. So this is going to be the name of my blog. I can change it if I want to, um, but this is fine with me, Lisa PF Blog. And I'm going to put in just a very fetching uh, blog title. Select a blog type. I'm going to select other because it's I'm sort of a student in the class, but I'm also a teacher, so whatever. Language is English, and then the little captcha to make sure I'm a sentient being instead of a robot. Then it should process this, and it'll send me a it'll show a confirmation here. So it shows me the, the URL of my blog, which is right here, and then my username and the password I put in. Um, since I didn't put in an email, I might want to want to print this uh, for myself. But then it says that's it, and I can log into my new blog. Now in this case it was kind of interesting because it, it didn't actually uh, take me where it was supposed to. It just gave me a blank screen. So I typed in edublogs.org again and went there and it showed me sign to uh, that I was already signed in. So I easily got to here. Uh, it's giving me a choice of going to the easy admin area or the advanced admin area. Uh, you can do either one. I'm going to go to the advanced because I'm assuming it gives me, as it says, more features and options. This is what uh, WordPress calls the dashboard. Edublogs.org operates on a WordPress platform. So you're actually using WordPress in sort of a scaled down way when you use Edublogs. So it's got the name of my blog up here and I can actually go to the site and see it. Uh, this is its setup. I can change absolutely everything here but it's set up with a particular theme and um, I can change all of this by going back to site admin and I can change things. So I can erase for example the first post which is hello world that's a traditional greeting by clicking on edit and erasing what they had for me here Clicking update. If I go back and look at my blog now, it has my post. Now this what you see here is what happens when you use edublogs.org and its free account. You get this little thing and it has uh, ads on it. Usually you don't see them when you're logged in, but if other people go to your blog, they will. To go back to site admin and start editing your blog any way you want to.